Hey everybody, so I'm just checking in and giving you an update since my last video, which was when I wrecked on my first day of training last Monday. Uh, tomorrow I have a follow-up appointment scheduled with my doctor, so he'll probably re-x-ray my elbow. Hopefully we'll figure out whether or not it's actually broken. Uh, good news though, I do have some more range of motion back in my elbow, so I can actually almost get to my shoulder now with my thumb. I still can't quite get there, and I can almost flip my palm up, um, but still not all the way. But it is definitely doing better than I kind of was on days three and four. Uh, two even were pretty bad. It was really swollen and I did not have that much motion. It was really hard for me to move my elbow really at all. So my elbow is feeling a little bit better, but I still can't really do a whole lot with it. Uh, my leg is okay. The road rash is starting to heal and everything is kind of scabbing up here. I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. It's not, not too ugly. Not as ugly as it was the first day but yeah it's finally starting to scab and starting to heal up it still hurts a little bit to move around um, when I bend my knee it kind of breaks open that scab a little bit so that's kind of uncomfortable so I haven't been running or biking uh, or swimming since the wreck I've just sort of been taking it easy trying to heal so tomorrow hopefully after I figure out what's going on with my elbow I'll have a definitive answer on what I can and can't be doing well, my elbow heals, um, so if I might be able to get back on the bike a little bit, be able to be outside and running so that I'm not just doing anything until I'm completely healed up again. Also this last week, I went and picked up my new bike. I, for the last several months, have had a triathlon-specific bike on layaway, so it's the bike I plan on actually using for the Ironman during the race. It's a Trek Speed Concept 2.5, and I'll show it to you guys right now. It's just hanging on the wall and just acting as very expensive, fancy wall art because I can't get on it and ride it not knowing what's going on with my elbow. But as soon as I get the okay from my doctor and or my coach that I can start riding again, I'll be on it pretty frequently for my training. So unless I have a nasty wreck and screwed up, that's what I should be riding for the Ironman. The bike below it there on the floor is actually the one that I was riding when I wrecked on Monday. Fortunately, I didn't do anything... Uh, too bad for it as far as damage goes. I really only scraped up the handlebar tape that was on it so they replaced it and I got to put on a new color so I picked green. Otherwise the bike was mostly intact. I also dinged up one of the brake levers and one of the shifters and the pedal on the left hand side is also a little mangled but other than that I uh, it's still rideable, it's still good so I got lucky that it was only a 17 dollar bill to fix the uh, hand to replace the handlebar tape instead of a massive bill to fix some components or something like that. So despite wrecking on my first day and potentially fracturing my elbow, the bike came out okay, so the glass is half full there, I suppose. But I will check in with you guys tomorrow after I go and see the doctor and let you know what's going on if my elbow is actually broken or if I just jacked it up or, um, in, in a bad way without breaking it. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow.